it's finally finished. This is the new one that I've been working on. Um, it's a design based on MHS parts that I've machined and customized myself. And uh, I took a MHS blade holder and put an angle on it. Uh, my custom switch placement, some extra grooves and, and whatnot. I'm trying to go for an uh, Old Republic simple, plain, but elegant looking lightsaber. Um, it's got a crystal focus uh, 4.2 inside and a couple extra surprises that I've been kind of working on. It's a prototype, so I'm going to be selling this one and uh, as is. Um, it was a kind of a learning experiment to see if I could do certain things, but I'll give you the, the rundown. Um, cone knob kill key. Comes out, activates the crystal focus, also serves as a 2.1 millimeter recharge port. Um, the activator switch is the big one here. You see the blue light from the P4 Alexian. It's also got a, a backlit um, auxiliary button. So uh, when it's dark out, you can kind of see there's a backlight uh, blue. It's kind of faint there. Also got a, a bar graph. It's made of uh, amber LEDs with a flashing red one indicating that the battery is low. Um, so it's four amber LEDs and a, and a red one. Give you a better idea of what that looks like. A little bit of shadow. The blinking indicator indicating the safe is ready. You have different kinds of animations and whatnot. I've um, been doing that in savers for a while, but what I haven't been doing is uh, is making them so that they're they're removable to expose the inside parts. The way you do that with this one is you uh, unscrew the, the pommel. Of course, TCS uh, MHS pommel, a custom speaker holder in there. It's also got a, uh, a spacer made of copper just to keep things lined up properly. And uh, what happens next is if you're careful, you can unscrew this whole center section. And I always want to take time to do this carefully so that nothing catches because uh, there's a lot of wires and connectors and things inside. If you feel something catching then it's, it's no good. But this will be all the rage at Dragon Con for whoever buys this saber, is it comes apart to expose a crystal chamber and uh, a rumble motor. And if you go back far enough, there's the crystal focus in there. So you can take it apart partially. Activate it. You can see the crystal glowing in there. You can see the rumble motor. The crystal focus. You take the whole thing out. You can see the, the bar graph there. And you have access to the, uh, the crystal focus, which is, is floating in there, so you can slide it out of the way slightly to get access to the SD card. Um, the end cap is, is also floating in there so that you uh, have a little bit more flexibility held in place um, with the chassis. So that is the Sabre that's going up for sale. Uh, may the best bidder win. Wanted to use a little less light for an operational shot of this Sabre. Crystal Focus 4.2, the Cone Knob Kill Key, you can see the LED blinking there, ready to go. Using my Hero Sound font, you can see the red lights flickering indicating the battery low needs to be charged. You can see the backlight of the uh, backlit with the auxiliary button. It's a really nice bright blade with the P4 blue LED running at to just, just under a thousand milliamps, just under one amp. So the battery lasts a good long time. So, the saber is ready to go.